In 2001, maybe when that picture was taken, I was a 30-year-old uh, council member newly elected in the city of Los Angeles, the second largest city in America. And Los Angeles, unlike most cities, owns its own Department of Water and Power. It's the largest municipal utility in the United States of America. And at the time, it was predominantly a utility run on coal. We owned power plants and interest in power plants around the western United States and built thousands of kilometers of power lines to connect from those remote places to Los Angeles to feed what had been a dusty outpost, a city that's older than Washington, D.C., but for many years a small, dusty pueblo on the west coast of the United States, as in the 20th century it suddenly accelerated its growth, and it needed both water, and we won't talk about water here today, although that involves a lot of power in L.A., and power in order to become that place that is now the manufacturing capital of America, aerospace capital, trade capital, obviously the creative capital, maybe not just of America, but of the world with Hollywood, and so much more prosperity. But in 2001, we looked at what was happening. On a day like this in Delhi, it brings back memories of growing up in Los Angeles where the air was the most polluted air anywhere in America, where like today, we were given warnings by our teachers, you cannot go outside and play, just as my daughter was given by her teachers today as I dropped her off at school. The cancer cluster that was on my street, my both parents, my sister have all thankfully survived cancer, but eight times between the two of them, and people who lived on our street right at the intersection of two main highways uh, who breathed that lead-filled toxic air. So when we talk about that moment where we find ourselves, not just of a world that is addressing climate change, but also of the daily health impacts of those vulnerable communities or just of urban centers that India faces, that the world faces today, it brings me back to that year where we suddenly looked at a utility and said, how can we continue to spew the pollution that is choking our air? And also, at that point, we saw the evidence, because it had been a good 10 years of imperial evidence that it was also heating the world and changing our planet.